Hi, my name is Francisco Gonzalez. I've been coming to The Way since September 30th, 2018, and this is my wife, Sandy Gonzalez. Before I came here, I was in a gang, a uh, Mexican street gang, and then from there, I graduated to an outlaw motorcycle club. I was very angry. I was a mean person. I hated people. One day, I just saw Pastor Chris on Facebook, because uh, before we were in the same club, his face looked really bright and healthy. And I was like, well, what does he got that I don't have? You know, well, well, how come he could have that? Next thing you know, I just text him like, hey, what's up? You know, and then he will start telling me about Jesus. So one day I was, I, I just said, hey man, I want to come to church. He said, "We're uh, come tomorrow, we're baptizing. I got saved that day, I got baptized. And little by little, God started changing my life, changing my heart. I stopped cussing, I stopped being so angry. I used to be sad and, and lonely. I was depressed. I would drink, doing drugs. I was always looking for something. And I didn't know what it was. Now I don't even do none of that no more. Once I found Jesus, and I never thought it could happen to me. But it sure enough did. November 2020, me and my wife got COVID. She was in there for a week and I was in there for three months. After that, I was in a coma, dying of COVID. The doctor caught every day telling me that I need to pull the plug, that he had ARDS, ARDS lung disease, never gonna get better. They have taken about three two liter bottles of fluid out of his body. So they were like, we don't know if he's even gonna make it. He said we had until Sunday, New Year's Day to make a decision. And that day came and I told him no. I remember that night calling Pastor Chris. He got a bunch of people that came to the hospital. We prayed, worshiped for hours. And that is what I think got us through it. It is what got us through it. When I was uh, dying, this guy used to come to me. When I was not here, I'm talking about over there where I was. I always used to think like, who was that guy that used to grab my hand and my right hand and, and say, you're gonna be okay, I'm with you. You're gonna be okay. It's a verse, I heard uh, Pastor uh, Christian, the singer, do a, a sermon about it, and I never knew that verse. And I told my wife, did you hear what he just said? Jesus told me that over there, exactly those same words. Isaiah 41, 13, for I, the Lord, thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. And that's what exactly happened to me. He grabbed my right hand and he told me to fear not, I'm with you. And my whole body just felt like at ease. Like I believed him, I believed him. When I got sick and then I woke up from my coma, I was completely healed. I have no diabetes. I don't take no pills, I have no cholesterol, high cholesterol, I have no high blood pressure. I did test after test, I've been in tubes. I'm talking about, I saw lung doctors, heart doctors, and they're telling me, there's nothing wrong with you. It's like you've never been sick. This is a miracle. Doctors were telling me it was a miracle, and what happened, how did I do this? And I told them, it's not me, it's Jesus. And they would just look at me and be like, I believe you. I remember all the time when I was going through classes and I would hear Pastor Marcos and everybody just talk about praying. And I would call Chris when I was barely starting to come to church and I had a lot of questions here, but let's pray. Let's pray. You got to pray about, pray about them. Pray about this. Pray about that. And and to this day, we believe in prayer. If you, if somebody's sick, if somebody needs to go to Christ, if anybody needs anything, you have to pray and you have to believe in Jesus. All my friends that were in my life, now they're like, I know there's Jesus. I know because of what happened to me because I was dying and now there's nothing wrong with me and I'm, I'm here, I'm alive because of him.